Lesson 13.1b, Finding the Area of a Trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. So here, the top and the bottom, those sides are parallel. If we fit two trapezoids together, they'll form a parallelogram. This means that the area of a trapezoid is half the area of a parallelogram. Sometimes in math, we'll see a small number to the lower right side of a variable or number. These small numbers are called subscripts and can help us differentiate between variables of the same letter. They're read as sub 1 or sub 2. There could even be a sub 3 or sub 4. But here we have B, which is going to stand for our base. This B with the little 1 down here is the first base. We read it as B sub 1. If we see a little 2 next to the B, that's the second base. It's B sub 2. So the first one might be the top of a trapezoid, and the second one is the bottom of the trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is half the area of a parallelogram. And the height of the parallelogram is the same height as the trapezoid and is perpendicular to the base. The base of the parallelogram is the sum of the two bases, base 1 plus base 2, of the trapezoid. So for your notes, this is the area of a trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is half its height multiplied by the sum of the lengths of its two bases. We have area is equal to half the height multiplied by the sum of the two bases base 1 and base 2. We learned in the previous video how to find the area of a parallelogram. It was the base multiplied by the height. If we were to pull this apart, we would have our two trapezoids, and here's the top. It's just flipped around. See? So that's the base sub 1, and that's down here the base sub 2. We have our base sub 1, our base sub 2. We have a base sub 1 up here and a base sub 2 up here for the trapezoid. But for the parallelogram, the base is both of these together. This is the entire base for the parallelogram. Since a parallelogram can be split in half to give us two trapezoids, that means this is only half the parallelogram. So we're going to use this base and this height but we're going to multiply it by half. Here we have a garden in the shape of a trapezoid. What is the area of the garden? We're going to use our formula for the area of a trapezoid. We see that the height is 10 feet. This base, base sub 1, is 15 feet. Base sub 2 is 25 feet. We substitute the values into the formula, so now we have half multiplied by 10, multiplied by the sum of 15 and 25. We add inside the parentheses, we get a 40. We can multiply half times 10, which will give us a 5. We multiply that to the 40, and we get 200 feet squared. So notice that the height is on the outside. A height can be shown on the outside or beside a shape. Now when we solve this, we multiplied half times 10 to get the 5. Well, the commutative property of multiplication states that we can multiply in any order without changing the product. So we can multiply the 10 times 40 first and get 400, and then multiply that by a half. We would still get 200 feet square, just like we did up here. Instead of multiplying the half to the 10 first, we multiplied the 10 to the 40 first, and then multiplied it by half. Let's try it without a diagram. Find the area of a trapezoid with one base of 14 centimeters and another base of 20 centimeters. The height is 8 centimeters. Well, we know that the height is 8, so we put that here. We know one base is 14 and the other one is 20, so we put them here. 
we add 14 plus 20, which is 34, and half times 8, half of 8 is 4, now we have 4 times 34. We can do a little math on the side on scratch paper. We get 136. And remember to answer in square units. When area is involved, we have 136 centimeters squared. And because these were all in centimeters, we know our answer should be in centimeters. We're finished with the second part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the last part, finding the area of a rhombus. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And... I hope to see you for the last part of the lesson. Bye.